How you doing? I'm Henry Moore III, and this is How to Mogul. Today, I'm going to show you how to make those nice square Instagram videos using Final Cut Pro X. Basically, what we're doing is putting a picture behind the video. So I'm also going to be using Photoshop as well, but you don't have to use Photoshop. You can just add things to the empty spaces in Final Cut Pro, or you can use another editing software, you know, GIMP, but I will be using you know, Photoshop and I will be using Final Cut Pro X. So what you want to do first is you want to make sure you have the right dimensions for your project. So what we're going to do is start new project and we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, IG Pro Move Test. Awesome. Now what you want to do under custom, you're going to click down here and go to custom and the dimensions that we're going to be using today is 1080 by 1080. Get a nice high quality image. Now, if you're trying to upload this through email, like you send it to yourself in the email so you can upload it to Instagram with your phone, you may want to try a smaller resolution like 640 by 640. Me, I just airdrop it to myself on my computer. So I airdrop it, you know, my, my computer sees my phone. I send it to my phone with airdrop and I'm able to upload it from there. So uh, just so you know my process and why I'm using 1080 by 1080. The last time I did this, it was about a half a gig and it was really no problem. All right, so I'm gonna click okay. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get a video. Let's see what we got here. All right. How to record your iPhone screen for free. All right. Now, what I wanna do is add to this area outside of the video, this empty space. Now, again, if you do not have an editing software, you can just do subtitles or something and add something there. Or even you can go get, you can generate, you could just generate a color. Awesome, so let's say we're just gonna take this and we're gonna drop it down at the bottom. And as you can see, we got white might want to make this a bright white awesome and then you could just add your text onto the top and bottom of that using a subtitle of some sort I'm not going to do that what I'm gonna do is go to Photoshop and I'm gonna do a, a new project and this is also going to be 1080 by 1080 1080 by 1080 and what I'm gonna do is actually make another project because I wanna make sure that I don't do anything over the video or where the video is gonna be over. So I'm gonna make another one that's 1920 by 1080. That would give us the, the aspect ratio what the video is like that widescreen look. And all I'm gonna do is just dump this into um, the other project. So I just copied it so I can move it around and I'm gonna change the color. You know, we'll just do a, a bright blue. We can all see that. Awesome. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna drag it in here. You can go ahead and get rid of this project now, we don't need it. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift so you can maintain the shape that it is and you're gonna drag. So no matter how you drag it, it's still gonna maintain the shape, the shape as long as you're holding shift. Now, when you're moving it, you don't wanna hold down shift. It's just when you're doing the transforming. Now, if you don't see those marks, you might wanna make sure that you have selected the, um, there's a button up here that says show transfer controls. Make sure that's checked. So anytime you click on the layer and you might wanna have this auto select on as well for layer. As soon as you click on the layer, it selects that layer and you get the little boxes so you know what to drag on, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this right here because you don't get the marks with the, the background. You see these little boxes? I'm gonna make guides because I want my video to be directly in the middle, just the way it is in Final Cut right now. Because you look at Final Cut, it is directly in the middle. And you can move it around if you want to. That's just the way I want this one. So I'm gonna line this up and I'm looking at the little boxes and I just wanna line it up and it snapped in. So now I know that's where the video is gonna be. So let me put up some guides. I like using guides. You don't have to use guides, it, it, I, I like using them. So 
you can type info here type info here and I mean we can do a logo if we want let's go ahead and do that too why not for YouTube so we just dropped the logo there the video is going to be in the middle sorry about that awesome now since it's not over this blue we know the video is not going to be over that so what we're going to do is you want to take this middle part out so you just have this and we're going to save this save it as a JPEG 1080 by 1080 save and I'm just going to save this to the desktop uh, Instagram promo test uh, frame and um yeah my my desktop is messy I've been doing a lot of crazy stuff all right so now what we're going to do is go into Final Cut and we're going to import that frame we got it on the desktop desktop Instagram promo test frame there it is import and here it is now when I drag it in let me go ahead and get rid of this white because I'm not going to use it. I want to use this. And all you're going to do is just drag it the whole entire length of the video that you want up to a minute. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to use this playhead as a marker. Hit B for blade. And I'm going to cut the last part off. Awesome. Now since it's this playing, so you can see it. it's in the middle. Awesome. Now you want to do is just save. And I actually save it as a H264 bounce. So you just place it anywhere. Just place it on your desktop. Again, I, what I do is I just airdrop it to myself so I can upload it to Instagram. Um, if you have any more questions or if you need, if you have any problems trying to upload it or bring it to your phone, let me know in the comments. And um, I'll make you another video to help you out. All right. Peace.